Okay, so let's actually get to the reason why I wanted to do this vlog anyways, which is for a quick life update and it's just some things I really want to share with you guys. Firstly, just, you know, thank you for sticking around. Like, I've been actually MIA for the longest time, which I mentioned earlier, so I'm just happy to be here. I really want to give you guys some quick updates. Uh, just so you know, I tried to move over to my bed just so I could get a little bit comfy. But the lighting was just not right. It was the backlight, all of that, so I'm back here at my desk. Can you see London there? Still showering himself. I'm not gonna lie, this cat loves to shower much more than his human mummy, which is I. Anyways, okay, so <coughs> let's you give let's give you guys some live some life, not live, we're not doing an insta live. I just want to give you guys some live updates. So what's been going on with me is obviously um the biggest thing is I got married, right? And my life has changed quite a bit. Uh I got married. I got London, I got a new baby, I call him my son, my mom hates that and be like, hey, I gave you your first grandchild. She's like, no, that's a cat. I'm like, okay, anyways. So let's just talk about that a little bit. My life has changed. I'm not gonna say a little bit, it's I mean it's quite a big thing and I I'm really, really happy. Like I I'm just happy. I'm just honestly really happy right now. And not not just because I got married. I'm mean, you know, that's not the message I'm giving that if you get married you're happy because honestly I was humble. I was really really happy before as well. Just happy doing my thing when I was single, just appreciating like all you know, all the different things that you can do when you're single and that's something that, you know, if I can say to you guys out there, don't rush to get married. I mean, get married, rush rush to get married once you found the right guy, but don't just rush to get married just for the sake of getting married so anyways so just want to share with you guys how my life has changed you know okay I'll talk I'll talk about three things the initial stage right after I got married was was kind of which I didn't expect this I only realized until my best friends pointed out is that I kind of went quiet quieter than um, how I usually am and I guess I was just busy adjusting to marriage life and everything because you know, it's different you suddenly have this person with you like all the time and this has been great you know we kind of do not, not everything together but quite a lot of things together you know I mean when we're back from work uh, we eat together and, and everything so I guess I went a little bit quieter and then my best friends were um, especially maybe she went a little bit like why is she changing you know and I guess that happens it, that's a normal thing that any friend would experience I guess because they've always known me actually they didn't know me in my first marriage but I was still very clingy with them <laughs> so yeah um, I I think after like a month or two uh, I realized that yeah I, I did kind of go through an adjustment period and then now I'm back to my usual self you know where I'm you know talking to my uh, best friends regularly and all of that again uh, yeah, and then another thing that has changed, uh, which is really nice, but it kind of took me by surprise, is that my like daily routine fully, fully changed. Not in a bad way, although initially I thought it was, it was a bad way, and I think this touches on like uh, my spirituality, you know. I thought for the first two months that I was slipping in my face. Like I thought my iman was going down and down because because when I was single, I used to have a very different routine, you know. Like I would wake up early, I'd pray, and then read Quran and like listen to tafsir, and then you know either do some blogging of uh, blogging in the morning, writing and all of that, or reading. But after I got married, like things changed. I just realized like I was going with kind of like a new rhythm, which was you know cuddling after waking up for fajr <laughs> it's nice it's nice doing them hello hugs yeah and so <laughs> uh yeah and you know like i i mean honestly I, i'm just going to be open about it and then i wasn't reading as much quran i i don't know i just kind of became a bit more relaxed with certain things that i was very like routined about before when i was still still single and for the longest time, I actually I actually got a little bit mad at him. I was like, you know what? Since I got married, I'm not myself anymore, and I thought I lost myself. And then turns out I didn't lose myself. I was just getting used to a new life, like a new routine. And I guess that's perfectly normal. I had to talk to my sister as well, and she she made me feel at peace as well because I was like, I thought, you know, I thought I was 
kind of slipping away, losing my faith, you know, I'm like going on low with my spirituality and she's like, look, chill out, chill out, chill out, girl. You're not because, and also, you know, I, I realized like I was, I was talking less about religion on my Instagram and then I thought to myself like, me talking about Quran or my faith and all on my Instagram feed, that doesn't define my faith, so why am I worried, you know, like, it's not like I'm studying, I'm, you know, I'm lying and being dishonest and I'm having a bad relationship with my family, which are all, to me, you know, more important than all these minor things, you know, and and my sister reminded me that like look all these extra things you used to do spiritually like you know let's say for example pray sunnah and all that doing extra extra things doing Quran and all that it's good and all but she says like when you're married like you do other things where you can get extra brownie points with God you know and, and you do all of that with your husband so easily and I was like ah oh, yeah I never thought to look at it in that way so I was put to ease and you know now I am honestly I'm just Alhamdulillah, I'm just really, really in such a happy place. I, I've been enjoying married life so, so much. Like, Yusuf's just been amazing. He, I honestly, I think we're really like a good match. <laughs> I say this to him like quite a lot. And, and I was asking him as well the other day, like just randomly in the car. I was like, you know, a lot of my followers are asking me what made you think that I was the right one. And he was like, well, firstly, it was just a feeling that he got when we first met on our first date. And then... Secondly, he said like he found that it was really easy to talk to me and that was also something that I felt the same with him like I could just talk to him very chilled and I was like oh this guy is like because usually I get really uncomfortable with new people but with him I didn't you know I actually did talk about how we met on my insta stories uh, okay I'm gonna do it really really quickly basically we got introduced by a mutual friend and then he contacted me very like right away uh, through iMessage so he messaged me and he wanted to meet up with me right away so I actually didn't tell my friends or family because you know, before that there was kind of like a failed thing with this other guy so I was like you know I'm going to keep this on the download and not give any of them like hope <laughs> and I'm just going to bring myself and meet him so I met him and on the first day already I felt like I'm really comfortable with this guy and I think he felt the same because usually I don't meet um, a person on my own like I hate first dates but with him I was like you know what, I'm just going to rip the bandit, I'm just going to go and then I actually let him send me home I went alone, I braved myself and I felt like on the first time, first date that I met him I felt trust and also guys, he brought me flowers on the first date oh my god, he had me at flowers yeah, so you guys know I'm a sucker for flowers he he did manage, he did say I'm sorry I couldn't get you peonies, hydrangeas or redunculus so clearly he did his research or either that Hannah told him Hannah is the mutual friend that set us up. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> and yeah, so I already knew that this guy was making a really good effort. So, cut the story short. He, I knew he was serious. I knew he was serious because, and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm the kind of person who doesn't want to waste my time. If you're here to talk about marriage, let's do this. You know, let's not be scared. Let's talk about all the things we want to know about each other. So, okay. Sorry, guys. I was just checking because the camera went quiet. <laughs> So yeah, so we were talking uh, literally about everything and everything serious because I think, I, like, and I'm glad I was at a point where I wasn't afraid to do that because I used to be afraid to be like, oh my god, I don't even know this guy, how can I ask him, like, what's his future plan and how many kids he wants, so, uh, so yeah, uh, the good thing is Yusuf started on the serious questions right away. Over sushi, we were eating at Rakuten and he asked me, you know, what was I looking for in a guy, like in a husband, how many kids did I want, you know, what are my plans, where do I want to stay, and, and all of that. And I, I'm so glad we got that out of the way, you know, like in the start, you know. And so everything happened so fast. Two weeks later, um, two, three weeks later, I was ready to introduce him to my best friends, which was like really scary because they're very protective of me. But alhamdulillah, he actually met my family, my mom specifically, on our third day, he came to my house. He came to my house and ate with my family and that was at the start of Ramadan. So basically, we were getting to know each other through Ramadan and right after Ramadan, we got married. So we knew each other for about three to four months and we got married and now we've been married about three and a half months, alhamdulillah. So everything's been good. I just want to tell you guys, like, I really want to highlight, you know, if you guys are looking and meeting somebody for the purpose of marriage, like, 
do make it a priority to see if you guys are compatible. I can't emphasize that more. I think it really makes a difference when you guys have the same thought process. You have not to say you have the same interests. It's fine. Like this is a bit nerdy. I'm clearly not. <laughs> Uh, but in the sense that you enjoy the same, like, whether you enjoy the finer things in life, you know, stuff like that. You, there are activities you can do together. And also, like, coming from, not to say that this wouldn't work, but it would make it easier if you guys also came from the same kind of financial background. Same kind of, like, you know, like, you guys kind of spend on the same things. It just kind of eases you into, you know, marriage and getting to know. And living with, like, a total stranger. So, yeah, everything's been good. Everything's been good. I have to say I'm really really blessed. I managed to find somebody who I think I honestly can't imagine finding anyone more compatible for me. Yeah. And that's just my honest opinion. And another life update that I can share with you guys is well I touched on this spirituality thing, how I thought that I was going on a low, which you know, I, I'm not. It's just that my life is different now. It's different in that I am doing uh doing different things and, and it's okay it's okay that I don't read as much Quran because uh, I guess I'm just doing more different things now as well you know and I'm not saying that it's I'm not saying it's a good thing that I read less Quran I'm just saying that for any of you guys out there who's going through what I'm going through having like different daily routines and you realize like is my spirituality going down because I'm not doing all the same things that I used to for example like I used to wake up for the Hajj a lot more and now I'm just like you know it's almost non-existent <laughs> but I think I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit myself too hard about that I think I think I am doing you know other things in different ways you know like and I and I get why this I was having this discussion with my sister. I get why there's that saying where marriage is half your faith, half your deen. And I used to look at it from a really negative perspective where it's like, oh of course marriage is half your deen because you know you're tested with so many things in a marriage, you're gonna go through so much hardship, so that's your test of faith. But fully like that's a fully wrong perspective to look at it. And we had a ch I had a chat with my sister and it's not like I don't look at it in that way as well anymore. <laughs> I look at it in the sense that, oh, hold on, why is Karen blinking? Hold on a second. Okay, so it's fine. So I look at it more in the perspective of that marriage is half your faith, your deep, because like when you're married, it's like the opportunity for you to do a good deed, like it's so easy, you know, and so I guess in a way, like your, your religion is not say sordid, but it's you're good to go. I mean, you have so many opportunities to do good, like, you know, smile at Yasmin, just be nice to him, do stuff together, you know, like, chill out together. All of these are all, like, positive things, which not only is good, good for your marriage, but you're also, like, kind of earning brownie points with God, you know? So, so in, in that, in that, in that way, marriage is just amazing. Well, what was a few other things I wanted to update you guys about? Um, is that I'm being more productive and I just really I want to say that I honestly believe I know this sounds really cheesy but the only person the only thing that is holding us back from achieving what we want to achieve is actually honestly really us and I see that I I looked back at uh, on this past year and you know I, I went back and forth with my progress on achieving things that I wanted to do like I would start it and then I wouldn't finish it I would start it and I wouldn't finish it and it's because I kept procrastinating so no more of that I honest, I don't want to do that anymore and I feel so amazing when I don't procrastinate like it just takes that little bit more push but once you get it done it's like it's so good it's such a good feeling and I I just need to continue on this streak so inshallah inshallah I can do this um, Obviously, I you know I told Yusuf my plans, what I want to do, and he's been really supportive about it because that also includes him brushing up on his photography skills and his videography skills as well. I told him from now on every weekend we're gonna have a, um we're gonna have a shoot together because I want to show him what is my um, aesthetics in terms of taking videos, taking photos because I have lots of projects, lots of projects uh, um, planned for next year. Oh, okay, one more new thing that I really want to share with you guys and this is about... Actually, I was going to share this on my blog but I might as well just talk to you guys about it now unless the video is too long then I might not include this in. The reason why I even started my blog is because I really 
had stuff I wanted to share. You know, when I was younger, when I was younger, I was looking for like something to read, some somebody who I could kind of be inspired by, look up to, somebody who I could relate to on like a cultural level or in you know like a lifestyle, lifestyle way, religion and all that, like a personality that I could relate to and you know through to and I didn't have that and so you know I thought I want to connect with you guys I want to share what I'm going through in my life and I think I have shared quite a bit on my uh, on my blog like my journey of so many things you know from getting married to not getting married um, you know my first my first marriage um, and then to my spiritual journey uh, you can see my fashion journey like how colorful I used to be and how black I am now <laughs> and I just really want to share it and I hope I hope you know that whatever I share it will touch you guys in some way and I love it when I know I can share with you guys and it benefits you guys in some way like I, I just love it and that is what really fuels me another new thing that I've recently started doing is um, working with brands and you know previously I mean you guys know uh, social media and all like uh, some people do it as a full-time job it's not a full-time job for me obviously I have a day job you know, which is being the creative director for Olin uh, but I do I love I love sharing on social media and I you know I use products and stuff that I believe in and for the longest time so many brands have approached me uh, to work together paid or not paid and I would I would I would always say no to the ones that want to pay me because I, I was too afraid to take money thinking that I would be fake about it but now I'm like you know what why am I afraid to do that um why not as long as I can be as honest to you guys you know I think there's no problem so I am working with brands and in collaborations but truly with brands that I honestly believe in and I've actually been using some are new some I've actually already been using but I'm just so 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 happy and really grateful that they actually want to work with me so another, a recent one that I did was with Canon uh, you know honestly I haven't watched it myself I'm so nervous <laughs> uh, it's actually just a three minute video like showing um, how to take Instagram worthy pictures so I'm gonna link that below in case you guys haven't caught that I'm supposed to share that on my Instagram which I should do tonight or tomorrow morning so I'm gonna do that and yeah I was just when they approached me um, through female magazine I was just so honored like Canon has been a brand I've been using uh, and loved for so many years ever since I started blogging and blogging and so if I get to work with them and collaborate with them of course of course I'm gonna take the opportunity and share with you guys like you know things I love to use um, for example like Bobby Brown and Lama like I genuinely love the brand and I, I hope that this will open more doors for me inshallah and I hope that I will continue to be honest with you guys in everything that I share okay I don't want to drag this video on I just want to say that this year has been an amazing amazing year for me so many things happened and I'm happy where I am right now and I just hope I will continue to make art you know I hope that everything's gonna just go even better next year because I feel like this year I learned so much and I want to be so much better next year in terms of my productivity and just being more for my family and my husband and my close friends I want to be more for them more we're giving uh, more for them emotionally physically I just want to focus on what's really important and yeah just want to be a good person an honest person a productive person that's my goal for next year um, I hope you guys had an amazing amazing year I think I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna close it up here guys thank you so much for watching I'm just glad I managed to get this done have a lovely lovely New Year's Eve I hope you guys come into this new year with like with with a heart filled with love and guidance and just excited excited and inspired to do new things and just to be yeah better versions of ourselves for the new year so Mwah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I have lots more to come after this one I just wanted to do this one to kind of give you guys a hello first and then I'm going to share with you guys a whole lot more that I've recorded thank you guys if you haven't subscribed yet you can subscribe you should subscribe and yeah bye I will see you guys soon in the next video
addicted to the love that you're giving. 